So this one is basically the same project except it's not building links to all those uh, other platforms. It's only focusing on articles. And you could duplicate it as many times as you want. If you want one doing bookmarks or web 2.0s, um, you could set it up like that. Also, you have your backup and restore, rename, backup. Um, it's always good to back up your campaigns. You never know, just in case a computer a computer crash or some kind of bug, you'll have backups. Um, if you close the software and open it up again, all this is automatically saved, but it's always encouraged to create backups anyways. The next settings we have is the global settings or the global options. This is going to be the first thing you want to go to before creating a new campaign. If you click this, we'll start with submission. Threads to use. This is how many um, simultaneously simultaneous connections you can have open at one time. So um, the higher this is, the faster it's going to build links, but at the same time it's going to um, use more bandwidth and also CPU and memory. So if you're on your home computer, you might want to leave this around 5 to 10. Test that out and see how that runs because um, if you're browsing the internet and have this running in the background, if you have this too high, it's going to slow down your internet. So uh, play with that. Try 5 to 10. I'm running on a VPS. I have it at 60, but sometimes I'll run it at 100 or something like that. The next is your HTML timeout. Um, the higher you set your thread count, the higher you want to set this. This prevents your web pages from being timed out too quickly. Um, so if you have this set to 50, you might want to have this set to 75 or something like that. Just make sure, whatever it is, just put this number a little bit higher than the thread count. The next thing we have is proxies. Um, proxies are not required to use with this software because of the way that it works. You can actually disable proxies completely, and I'll show you why in a minute, but if you want to use proxies, you have three options here. You can use them for um, scraping only. You can have it to where they only are used when you're scraping from search engine. You can have it to where you use them all the time, when it's scraping, posting, checking page rank, all that stuff. Or you can have it selected to use proxies only for posting. Um, you can configure your proxies here in the proxy window. Um, if you want to use the built-in public proxy scraper, you can add your own sites here. Um, the software will scrape these websites for proxies. By default, it has a few of these selected. So if you have your own websites you want to scrape from, you can add them here and then check them. And when you click the Find Online button, it will scrape those for you. Um, if you have private proxies, you want to use the Parse from File, and it shows the format down here to use. You can add single proxies. You can parse the URL directly from here. You've got your test proxies. And if you're using public proxies, you'll probably, you might want to click the automatically search for new proxies every X amount of time. And this will, like say it'll search for proxies every 20 minutes and then it will automatically test the proxies and disable the bad proxies. And that way, you don't have to stop the software and test proxies and do all that yourself. But again, like I said, you don't even have to use proxies because of the way the software is set up. And I'll show you why real quick. When you create a new campaign, you select the search engines for each campaign. So if I select United States, that's going to check eight different search engines. So the reason people get banned temporarily from Google is because it's sending too many queries. Well, for certain software, it'll send too many queries too fast, and you'll get a temporary IP ban and that's why you need proxies but for this since there's so many um, different search engine options um, it's going to be querying from different search engines at different times and it's going to be mixing footprints and all that kind of stuff um, and there's 585 search engines here to choose from so you could also choose like UK and that's going to help a lot with getting with a uh, getting so you won't get the temporary IP ban 
but of course if you want to stay anonymous then you can go ahead and um, enter, pro enter public proxies or private proxies here second option is CAPTCHA this is just uh, your CAPTCHA solutions for solving any CAPTCHAs um, if you it has integration with pretty much all the major CAPTCHA solvers it has CAPTCHA Sniper which is a software that's a one-time fee and it'll automatically solve CAPTCHAs for you um, so you could have that as your primary um, CAPTCHA analyzer and then if you wanted you could click this to have a backup so if this one fails to answer the CAPTCHA correctly it'll default to your other CAPTCHA provider um, and then you can also check this finally ask user if everything else fails if both of these fail to answer the CAPTCHA then a box will pop up and you can fill it in yourself but if you don't want any type of pop-ups you want to leave that unchecked indexing these are your indexing options and you can see there's quite a few different uh, indexers integrated with the software by default you'll have your um, backlinks automatically submitted to blog search engines which basically means it'll ping your backlinks to help get them noticed and crawled then you have GSA SEO indexer which is another software sold by GSA that uh, is a one-time fee it's like 20 bucks when you when you download it and install it you simply check this button and the software will work together automatically actually I have it running right here you can see it so when URLs get verified here they'll automatically be sent here and this will run it through thousands of statistic sites and help to get it indexed and if you have this software um, it's a bit cheaper than going with Lindex or Linklicious because um, all these usually require a monthly fee I believe they do but if you have these you can use as many as you want you can send them to all of them if you wanted to that'd probably be a bit of an overkill but uh, yeah there's plenty of indexing options here you can also import more ping lists if you want to so like I said this is the first thing you want to go to when you open the software set all this up and um, in the next video I'm gonna go into actually starting a project and what kind of settings to use if you're gonna be building links directly to your money site um, the best way to do that so uh, check out part two soon